Hi there, so in this video I'm going to talk about how to add a contact form to your Sapper web page. But this will also work for any Svelte project, any web project, any static page. This will let you submit any type of form on a static page so that you don't need a backend. And the way we're going to do that is using get form. So it's really simple, you just sign up and make an account and then you copy and paste the URL into your form and then it'll allow you to get form submissions from your users and be able to see it in your account here on get form. So I'm going to get started. First I'm going to create the contact page. So I'm going to come here to routes and add a contact.svelte, which is just a Svelte component, but it acts as a page here. And I'm going to paste in this form that I made so you don't have to watch me type all that out. Um, and then here on components, nav.svelte, we're going to add a nav link. So here I'm going to do command D, command D, and type in contact. Okay, so now I have a contact page. Click there, and this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm just going to add, I forgot to add these guys, just so that it is vertical. And then I'm also going to add a button for submitting. Okay, so this is my form. Obviously, you will want to make it look nicer. And this here should say your message. You might want to make this a text area rather than an input, but uh, that's what I have for now. Okay, so you're going to come to get form and sign up. I'm just going to put in a throwaway account, but you will, will want to put in your actual credentials and create account. So sign up and it's going to take you right to the form page where you want to click the plus and I'm just going to type in practice form. That'll be the name of this form and create. So it's really simple. If you already have a form, then you're going to make sure the action is what it says here and you're going to make sure that the method is post. Okay, so I pasted that in there. I'm going to save. Okay, so I'm going to come back here and I'm going to see if it works. So your full name, Noah, uh, blah, 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 dot com, and my message. Hi there. And submit. Okay, so it submits it. It gives you this generic page, which I'll show you in a second how to change. And then here on your account, you exit out of here and you'll see this is my practice form with one submission and I'll have it here. So you get all the data that was submitted and it'll just keep on filling up every time somebody submits something. And that is how you do it. So you can stop the video now if that's all you want to know, but I'm going to show you how to not get this generic page when the user submits it. So, um, let's see. Here on the contact.svelte page, we're going to, rather than using the HTML5 default behavior, we're going to use a fetch call to kind of to control it ourselves. So what I'm going to do is import on mount from Svelte. That way we can add an event listener once it has been mounted. So I'll do on mount. It'll run this function. So const form, this will be the for, I'll call it form element equals document dot query selector form and you might want to add an ID like ID equals uh, contact form so it's not just a generic just in case there's another form on the page so contact form so now we have the form element there and then form element dot add event listener oops so on submit we're gonna run this function and we're gonna pass it the event that occurs when it's submitted and we'll use event dot prevent default okay so that way it won't get submitted so right now if I save this it's not going to submit because I'm preventing default so this will refresh and nothing happens it doesn't take you to that other page so what we're going to do is call a fetch on this but first we need to get the data and I don't have this memorized, so I was looking it up, how to just get all the data really quickly. And you can copy and paste this. Um, how do I post from data with fetch API is the Stack Overflow question. 
This right here will just automatically get you all the data from this form. And you'll need to pass it the form element. So here I'm getting the form element and then you're going to pass it in right here. So this gets you all the data. And then after that we can fetch uh, the URL. So I'm going to copy and paste that in there. Paste, okay, comma, an object, which is the data. So uh, method is post, method post, comma, body, data, which is right here. So this is passing in all of the data from the form in the body, which is what this would normally do. But now, rather than it redirecting us to that generic thank you page, we can do something like alert, thank you for submitting. Now, in reality, you probably wouldn't want to do this. You might have like a empty div here that says thank you for submitting or something, and then you'll append, you'll put in the text, the thank you message there. And you might want to do some error checking or whatever. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to show you. So now I save, and actually maybe I should, just so you can see this whole thing at once. This is what the whole component looks like. Okay, so I'm going to save and I'm going to come here. So let me refresh this first to show you that we only have this one submission. Okay, so now I come back here, your full name, Noah, email, I'll put a different name, john at blah 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 com. my message, goodbye, submit. Okay, so now it says thank you for submitting. And you might want to, I don't know, erase this or, you know, you can do whatever. You know how to use JavaScript. So come here, refresh, and you'll see that it is now John email. Goodbye is the message. And I have captured that with a fetch. Okay, so those are your two options for um, adding a contact form onto your account. One last thing I'll show you here in settings is that you can email notification, put in your email address. So you would type it in here and then it will, like if I put sveltmaster at gmail.com and save changes. Every time a form gets submitted, I would get an email about it and it'll probably go to your spam. So check your spam and make sure it is not going to spam if this is important to you. And that is all for now. Have fun and goodbye.